warning tonight about knockoff cell phones being sold online in our city. The phones look realistic, and for a lot of people, it could be days before they ever realize that the phone's actually a fake. Mm -hmm. Susan Armong and his journey is now live in studio with the latest on the latest warning from police. Mm -hmm. uh, Daryl, these cell phones were advertised on Kijiji as new Samsung S6s. And as you're about to see, it's hard to tell. They're actually imitations. With me here, I actually have two uh, S6 phones. To the untrained eye, it's hard to spot the phony. They're much like counterfeit money or counterfeit Rolex uh, watch. They're uh, made to look like the real thing, but they're not actually. The difference starts with the box. The original has a sleeve with information on it. That's the first thing. There are other clues. Suki Singh points to features like the camera flash on the real phone on the right. The actual flash is okay. embossed inside. The flash on the counterfeit doesn't even work. It's basically a dummy inside. The serial number is easy to see on the original. The imitation is faint. It's almost unreadable. And the serial number is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7. Exactly. It will start up, but even the apps are not the same as the genuine phone. This is why they're selling so much. People are buying them because they generally, somebody who has never seen an S6, um, to them it looks like a genuine phone because they don't have a comparison. Brooke Edwards says he wouldn't even consider buying a phone from an online classified site. There's no way. Unless it's in the store, it's got a warranty and all the rest of it. Don't be silly, just don't do it. But Marama Sila has seen ads for cell phones online and says they're tempting. Sometimes you can find like a, a, a cell phone for like like a S4 for like $150, $200 when they're selling in the store for $400. In this case, police say the suspect was buying the phones for $100 and reselling them for up to 600 If you're going shopping on Kijiji, police have this warning. Uh, if you're going to go out and make a purchase that you've seen advertised online, uh, look out for some of these signals that might indicate that you're not buying a real product. An 18-year-old man has been arrested in this case and faces two counts of fraud, Daryl. So one person arrested, but mm -hmm. are police still looking to see if more of these fake phones might end up being put up for sale online? Mm -hmm. They are. Constable O'Day says the accused had accomplices, but they weren't able to gather enough evidence to make more arrests. So there's a chance that more of these fake phones could be put up for sale. All right, Susan and Ryan, thank you. Mm -hmm.